What's up guys, Kenan and here we are working on our focus trekking bike and um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to explain to you when should we change different sprockets or the cassette or whole drivetrain. Uh, as you may have seen on the bike, uh, we had quite used the uh, old chain. Uh, the guy that was using the bike was simply commuting on it and uh, not really training or or um, putting a lot of power on the drivetrain but still he wouldn't be lubricating the chain and cleaning it and this one is very much worn out so this one goes to to the trash we already have a new one for our focus uh, bike but because this one uh, was uh, so much worn out and the chain wear indicator was showing uh, way over uh, 0.75% uh, of extension of the length uh, of the chain. That means that we're gonna have some problems with some sprockets at least. Uh, this is what we had on the bike. Uh, I'm gonna show you. These were the sprockets on this uh, Shimano XT uh, Mega 9 uh, crankset. And uh, what I've seen uh, on the sprockets is that the, the largest chain ring is almost uh, as new, like new. Uh, nowhere, uh, not so much rubbing here on the inside, uh, meaning this guy wouldn't be riding really fast. He wasn't using this one. Uh, the, the smallest one is as just uh, like new, nothing uh, that, I can, that, that, that I could really complain about, but then this one, the middle one, that's the one the guy was using all the time. Uh, now the question, should we change it or not? Um, one thing I would not recommend to do is to simply replace the chain with the new one and check whether everything goes out and, um, and whether the, the, the chain would, would not jump over some uh, sprockets uh, while we are pedaling. I would not use that. It's uh, it's also dangerous. Uh, some of the guys I know would really hurt their knee uh, because when the chain uh, isn't really fastened on the sprocket you can hit the handlebar with your knee and have problems with that. So how can we uh, see that the sprocket is uh, worn out? First of all, if the chain is in such condition uh, I'm sure some of the sprockets will have to be uh, changed. Now, how this one used uh, is being used. Uh, when the bike is, when we are pedaling on the bike, uh, the, the sprocket is like scooping up the chain. Uh, it goes just like this, right? Just, just to show you. And then it goes back to the, to the cassette. Uh, because the, the, the chain ring is pulling the, the, the chain to the front, that means that the pins of the chain are rubbing against the front of the teeth. And so you can see that this little surface, not this one here, but this surface is worn out. You can see that there is no like regular U or something, uh, but you can see it's been pushed away uh, and there is not so much material. The other thing is also that those teeth are not smooth anymore. You can hear uh, my uh, gloves being just, yeah, I already made uh, a hole in, in my gloves because uh, there is some material like pulled off the teeth. That's the, let's see, geez, XTR. Uh, that's the chain ring in very good condition. And that's the one used a lot. You can see uh, this shape is quite regular and also the teeth are very smooth. Here this one goes to the trash and it's same for the real one but here it will be opposite because uh, right this one is uh, pulling and this one is being pulled so the pins of the chain are rubbing against the rear of the teeth and we can see exactly that's a funny thing but we can see exactly that this guy was actually using only those two gears. So the middle one uh, in the front and those two like uh, seven and eight in the rear, you can see exactly this surface here uh, worn out. Um, fortunately, we are able to buy some of the sprockets for our cassette, so we don't have to replace a whole cassette. Uh, but sometimes, uh, if it was a mountain biker, 
maybe he would be using some of the gears that are on the sprocket that you cannot replace and then you have to buy another cassette. I already have a new cassette for our Focus but I'm just telling you that it's possible to change uh, just some of the sprockets and I'll just keep this cassette for me and maybe build a bike and then change a sprocket uh, or two, those two, for myself. So um, the first thing uh, that we should remember about is always to check our chain with the chain wear indicator. If it goes over 0.75 for steel sprockets, we should replace it. If it goes over 0.5 for aluminum or titanium sprockets, we should replace uh, the chain as well. It's much cheaper because we don't have to spend money for the, for the um, chain rings. Now I want it, I tried to be smart, I wanted to um, replace this one XT with XTR I have. It doesn't fit even though the bolt circle, circle diameter is the same. Then I thought okay I have Dior as well. Same uh, bolt circle diameter doesn't fit so I have to have to get the exact uh, Shimano XT. Uh, if you're curious about those two cassettes these, are, these two are the older and newer XT uh, Mega 9. Uh, this is uh, M750, this is M770. How do you think which one will be lighter, newer or older one? Both are 1132 teeth. Uh, this one weighs 20, uh, 263 grams and this one 262. So that's funny, that's the older one and it's uh, one gram. Uh, one gram lighter. So this is just a thought about the improvements that we are supposed to be getting with each new generation. All right guys, so this is about drivetrains. I'm going to uh, clean and um, grease uh, the hubs on the bike and then we'll be replacing cables and housings and the bike will be good to go. So thanks for watching. Thank you for your support guys. Uh, we are having more and more stuff here just let me know in the comments what would you like to see what would you like what kind of tutorials uh, am i supposed to do for you i'll be glad to do it for you see you soon bye bye